last class uh, we have discussed about uh, sn1 reactions that means uh, the mechanism and uh, kinetics of uh, sn1 reaction in this class we are discussing the energy profile diagram of uh, an sn1 reaction energy profile diagram energy profile diagram of a sn1 reaction the energy profile diagram of sn2 reaction was very simple but in the case of sn1 reaction it is a little bit complicated okay let us see the energy profile diagram of a sn1 reaction this is a reaction coordinate Here it is a uh, potential energy. Okay. And uh, uh, you remember SN1 reaction. Uh, SN1 reaction is, uh, okay, uh, before that, uh, uh, see, SN1 reaction is CH3, 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 Br. What is that? Uh, the nucleophile is attacking. The first step is uh, formation of a carbocation. So, CH3, CH3. CH3, CH3 plus, plus what will form? Plus Br minus. And in the second step, what is that? C, CH3, CH3, CH3 plus, that means uh, carbocation, this is carbocation. In the second step, the nucleophile, the nucleophile attacking the carbocation and we get the final product, the alcohol, we get the uh, final product. Okay, that means SN1 reaction is a two-step reaction. In the first step, formation of a carbocation, and in the second step, attack by the nucleophile to get the final product. Okay, so you must uh, uh, keep these uh, 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 steps in your mind. Then only we can go through the energy profile diagram. So the first step. What is that? Uh, the slow cleavage of a CX bond. The CX bond is breaking. The CX bond is breaking and it will change into a tertiary carbocation. That is a first step. That's a slow step. And uh, uh, we will uh, go through the energy profile diagram. Okay. See, there is a reactants. Look at it very carefully. Reactants. Which are our reactants? You can see that C, CH3, 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 Br plus OH minus. This is our nucleophile and this is our substrate molecule. These are our reactants. And you can see that uh, in the first step, what is that? Uh, uh, the first step is uh, happening through the slow cleavage of a CX bond. This CX bond, or you can say CBR bond, the CX bond is breaking heterolytically. That is happening in the first step. Okay. So, what is that? Uh, you can see that uh, uh, in the first step. Okay. Here, you can see that uh, C, CH3. Okay. Look at here. The first step. So, C, CH3. CH3, CH3, and what is happening? The slow cleavage of uh, CX bond, or uh, you can, uh, okay, C, uh, if I take BR, C, BR bond. That means uh, this bond is breaking uh, heterolytically, the bond breaks from here, okay, heterolytic cleavage, okay. This is the first uh, transition state, okay. This is happening in the first transition state. I, I, okay. And what will happen? The energy required for this one. What is that? That is This energy is called the first activation energy. This is EA1. EA1. Okay. Listen very carefully. In the SN1 mechanism, the mechanism begins with the slow cleavage of a CX bond. The CX bond is breaking heterolytically. That means uh, this is the first transition state. This is first transition state. Transition, transition state. 
transition state. That means uh, heterolytic cleavage of a CX bond. Heterolytic cleavage of a CX bond. The energy required for that cleavage is uh, Ea1. That is the first activation energy Ea1. So Ea1 is the energy required for the heterolytic cleavage of a CX bond. Okay. Now when the CX bond is completely broken, it will change into the first intermediate. Here is the intermediate formation. Here is the intermediate. What is that intermediate? Intermediate is our carbocation. So C, CH3, CH3, CH3. Okay, I can write it here. Okay. Okay, this is the, uh, uh, what is that? This is, uh, okay. This is the intermediate formation. What is that? C, CH3, CH3. CH3 plus okay completely broken plus what is that plus Br minus is there Br minus plus our other reactant our nucleophile OH minus is there clear or I can once again I am explaining okay this is the transition state that means the breaking of CX bond after the transition state it will change into the first intermediate first intermediate is a C CH3 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 intermediate is the formation of a carbocation. The bond is completely broken and you are getting the carbocation plus what will form plus your uh, uh, leaving group Br minus is there plus what is that uh, our OH minus is also there. Okay, this is the uh, in the intermediate state you have this carbocation and uh, Br minus is there of course OH minus is also there and you can see that uh, this is the intermediate 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 formation intermediate okay intermediate formation and you can see that uh, this intermediate formation see the energy difference okay here it is uh, this is reactant energy and uh, this energy difference this energy difference okay this energy difference that means uh, this is uh, delta h1 delta h1 of course uh, this step is uh, uh, this is an endothermic process endothermic process because uh, this is at a higher energy level so delta h1 is uh, positive delta h1 is uh, positive because uh, the intermediate is applying at a higher energy level than the reactants definitely uh, this process this intermediate formation is uh, delta positive so endothermic okay after the intermediate is formed, you can see that the next step, what is that? Next step, you can see that this is the next step. You can see that there is an attack by the, uh, okay, uh, I can draw it carefully. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, in the next step, you can see that. Uh, okay. And uh, you can see that. Uh, uh, in the next step you can see that the uh, next transition state second transition state in the second transition state what is happening you can see that uh, C CH3 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 this is our intermediate okay in the second transition state you can see that uh, our nucleophile our nucleophile OH minus is uh, attaching to the uh, uh, positively charged carbon this is the second transition state this is first transition state that is the breaking of cx bond and in the second transition state the nucleophile is attaching to the uh, positively charged carbon and this one is the second uh, transition state second transition state transition state okay after the second transition state this is second transition state after the second transition state immediately what will happen uh, this will change into the final product. Okay, you will change into the final product. Okay, after the so this is the second transition state. After the second transition state, what is happening? This uh, COH bond is completely formed, and you are getting the final product. This is the product. You are getting the product. What is the product? C CH three CH three CH three OH CH three OH plus of course our uh, leaving group Br minus is. Uh, also there. Leave, leave that. Okay. Uh, this is the product. Okay. Now you can see that uh, 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 come back here. You can see that uh, this is the intermediate. That intermediate is uh, again taken to intermediate is taken to uh, next transition state that means uh, attacked by the uh, nucleophile energy required for that this one this is the energy required and this is uh, the second activation energy Ea2 this is Ea1 and this is Ea2 
Here the reactance is taken to the uh, transition state, therefore uh, this is uh, EA1. And here you can see the intermediate is taken to the uh, intermediate is taken to the second transition state, and the energy required is uh, EA2. This is activation uh, EA2, activation energy 2. Clear? And uh, now one more thing I have to explain. Here is the product. Here is the product. Okay. Here is the product and uh, you can see that uh, this energy difference, okay, uh, this energy difference, okay, here is the product and you can see that uh, this is the reactant and uh, this energy difference, this is uh, uh, delta, delta H2 and of course, since the product is lying at a lower energy level than the reactants, you can see that uh, delta H2 is uh, negative. That means uh, the oral reaction is uh, exothermic. Oral reaction is uh, exothermic because the product is lying uh, below the reactant energy level. And that means uh, delta H2 is uh, negative. Okay. So once again, I am explaining the energy profile diagram of uh, SN1 reaction. In SN1 reaction, the first step is the slow cleavage of the CX bond. That you have to keep it in mind. And uh, it will change into the first intermediate uh, carbocation. Then the nucleophile will attack on that intermediate and you will get the final product. So look at here, you can see that um, this is reaction coordinate and here it is potential energy. Definitely the reactants are having a uh, having certain amount of energy because they have vibrational energy and uh, uh, some potential energy is also there and you can see that uh, these are our reactants. This is our substrate molecule, substrate molecule and this is our nucleophile. These are our reactants. Now you can see that uh, in the presence of uh, uh, stronger nucleophile what will happen in the SN1 reaction the CX bond is uh, uh, slowly it will break that means uh, this is a breaking of a CX bond that means uh, this is the first transition state cleavage of a CX bond that is the first transition state and the energy required for that one that means for the breaking of a CX bond that is the first activation energy EA1 okay one the transition state will immediately change into the uh, intermediate state the transition state will be converted into the intermediate state what do you mean by intermediate state the complete cleavage of cx bond will occur and you will get the intermediate uh, carbocation positively charged carbon uh, with the three other carbon that means uh, this is a tertiary carbocation the formation of carbocation that is the intermediate formation and you can see that uh, uh, this intermediate you know, and here is our reactant energy and this is the intermediate uh, uh, energy level so this difference that is delta h1 definitely it is uh, positive because the, the intermediate is lying at a higher energy level than the reactants here the reactants and this is the intermediate this energy difference is uh, delta h1 definitely that enthalpy that enthalpy is enthalpy change is uh, positive that enthalpy change is uh, positive and uh, come back here you can see that uh, ea1 ea1 is uh, lying at uh, see see the ea1 is very much high this is the reason why the first step in the sn1 reaction is a slow step because the required activation energy is very high that is the reason the first step in the sn1 reaction is a uh, slow uh, step okay now again okay, uh, come back here is the intermediate once the intermediate is formed what is the next step the immediately the nucleophile will come and attack that means uh, here is the uh, attack of the nucleophile uh, to the positively charged carbon and uh, you can call it as a second transition state second transition state in the second transition state uh, our uh, the nucleophile our nucleophile is coming and attacking to the uh, positively charged carbon and you can see that uh, the energy required for the second transition state uh, that means uh, the intermediate is taken to the second uh, transition state that energy requirement that uh, activation energy is called EA2 EA2 and uh, you can see that uh, after the second transition state immediately it will be converted into the final product that means uh, the attack of the nucleophile is completed and a new bond is formed between the carbon and the incoming nucleophile and you are getting the final product and look at here here is the energy difference between the reactant molecule and the product this energy difference uh, that means uh, the product is lying at a lower energy level therefore this enthalpy change delta H2 is uh, negative okay 
So uh, this is the energy profile diagram in the case of uh, uh, SN1 reaction and uh, you can see that uh, once you look at the energy profile diagram of uh, uh, SN1 reaction.